What is up? Okay, fantasizers. It is anime fantasizer. We are here. Talk about Thor Ragnarok movie. That did justice to the entire trilogy. You have no idea what this movie did to me, p p p personally. I, I was waiting to see this on my birthday. I was waiting to see this on my birthday, right? So we go, we see it. Amazing. I don't care who hates it, who dishes on it. Okay. It was great. Okay. There's so much I can talk about. Let's just start from the beginning. Uh, the intro. Hilarious with Thor like swinging. Trying to talk to that, uh, I forgot what his name was, but the big old fiery dude. Which I thought Odin was really like legit scared of, like, like, like wasn't stopping Ragnarok. But it turned out it was Loki. I was like, I should have seen that coming, but it didn't. So that was great. Had they de the movie definitely had the element of surprise. Uh, Doctor Strange made an appearance, so did lots of beer for Thor to drink, and Loki falling through lots of portals. I've been falling for 30 minutes! Odin tell us that Thor and Loki had a sister, that she was the firstborn. Odin's dead, that's new. Um, and, uh, freaking, we had Hella recruit the dumbest guy that could ever open up the portals or anything, which I give him so much love at the end because he came back and with the machine guns, D, Dez, and Troy, you know, destroy. If you didn't get that, you're probably really stupid. Um... Yeah, that, that that was sad. Especially he died. I, I knew he was gonna die. But I was like, and crap. Ah, dang. I'm going too far. Uh, go back. Hulk, freaking Hulk. Hulk was in control the entire time. There was no banner. There was nothing. Like, and then he was like speaking and crap. Him and Thor were going back and forth. Bro, I was like dying laughing. Oh my gosh, Hulk, bro, Hulk. And then Thor has a new power. Like, like the, the hammer was apparently supposed to control his power, like help him use it easier, like open it more. But now he can full use it. Like he's he's the literal god of thunder, bro. He's like electricity in his eyes and crap. Freaking lost an eye. Had the eye patch just like Odin, bro. Bruh. Mm. You know how they make the trailers different than the actual movies? Like they edit it and stuff so that you see what was different in the movie. Freaking. You can tell what was different in the trailer and what was different in the movie. Especially like when they showed him. He said, what are you the god of? Uh, he had the um, two lightning eyes. Freaking in the trailer, but in the actual movie, he had one eye that was just gone, just blood everywhere. Then he had the other one that was uh, freaking uh, all blue because it had all that lightning going through it. Freaking Valkyrie, she was pretty lit. I'm gonna be honest, she was lit. And her drinking, bruh. Okay, get help. That was amazing. Loki and Thor 
as brothers, I think they got closer. The freaking when we went down to uh, see, what, like when Hella went down to the place where she kept all those bodies, and we saw the Tesseract, and we saw Thanos's glove. What? What the fuck is going on? I was like, bruh, is this, is this really happening? Are, is this what we doing now? For real? For real now, bruh? For real? Bruh. I was so dumbfounded. Uh, then we had, what else? We had so much stuff. Freaking from uh, all the other Hulks. You know, there's Red Hulk, She-Hulk, uh, all the other Hulks, whatever. We had the Rocky guy or whatever. I forgot his name. What is crap? But he was hilarious. And freaking Doug. Kept saying like, "Hello, new Doug," and like, "Goodbye, Doug," and all that. It was, he was he was hilarious. he was a great addition to the movie, especially like when it was like really dark and he would just say something really stupid that made everybody laugh. I'm trying to see an IMAX 3D with my mom. Bought the tickets to see it regularly. Not that I'm mad. I loved it either way. It would have been awesome. Uh, all the trailers that they showed. I'm so ready for this year or next year. Thor is the new leader now. Thor, he is now the king of Asgard. Asgard is not a place, it is a people. Idris, Idris Elba, I think that's his name, I can't remember. Um, he came back, everybody, it was, it was, it was, everything's going together and it's perfect for Infinity War. At the end we saw a huge, in the credit scene we saw a huge ship in front of them, stopping them. What's going on, people? And where it's gonna be the new Asgard? Where, where are we going from there? Okay, I didn't know. Okay, it's just something we gotta know. Hella, we don't even know if she's dead. We think she's dead. We think that she's dead. She's supposed to be dead. Freaking crazy. I've always, since I learned about North, Norse mythology, uh, I know that was Thor. Loki. I didn't know that was Hela. That's why they introduced her. I didn't know Odin could die. I knew Odin. There's supposed to be another brother. So I'm feeling number four Thor, new brother. Forgot what he's supposed to do or what he can do. But there's supposed to be a third brother. Just saying. Overall, the movie was hilariously awesome. We were all scared that it was going to be too funny, but it was. I think, in my personal opinion. With just enough funny, just enough awesomeness, and I really feel like Thor became strong. Like, like he's the Thor we wanted for a while now. I, I do feel like they could have done a little bit better, making him more brute, you know. But I do believe, and he's learning. He's actually one thing that I love. Bro, is this, is this really happening? Are, are, is this what we doing now? For real? For real now, bro? For real? Bro. Models be bottles.